Hi, hello, my name is Devaraj and uh, I'm a therapist working with body-based therapy and uh, emotional-based therapy, emotional release, primal screen therapy, rebirthing, this kind of thing. And I also work a lot with bioenergetics. And this is a little introduction for anyone who's interested in the subject, hopefully to give you some useful information. It's not me trying to sell my skills, I'm just trying to pass on some useful info. So bioenergetics historically is generally credited to a man called Alexander Lowen, an American therapist specializing in body work, who was alive until recently, died aged about 95 in I think 2009, something like that. He founded a thing called bioenergetic analysis and that was developed from the work of Wilhelm Reich, of whom he was a student. Reich himself was uh, originally, I think, Austrian or German. He fled to the States in the Second World War, where sa- hoping to escape persecution, but sadly got rather persecuted by the FDA, who didn't like his therapies and possibly felt that some of their medications were a bit threatened by them, uh, and eventually was put in prison, and I think he actually died in prison, poor guy. Anyway, Alexander Lowen was one of his students, and Lowen took Reich's work on characterology, or essentially personality stereotypes, and developed treatments for each personality stereotype. Reichian characterology uh, basically breaks people up into one of five categories uh, by examining their posture. Uh, if you went to see uh, a specialist in this, they would look at you standing from sideways on and straight on and put you into one of five boxes. Originally, the boxes had rather scary names, such as uh, a psychopath or rigid or oral masochist, this kind of thing. Uh, in the modern era, of course, these names have been changed to not freak people out so much, thinking, my God, I've got the body posture of a psychopath, I must be Ted Bundy or something. No, it doesn't mean that. Anyway, the names are a bit more touchy-feely now, and you can read about Reichian characterology online quite easily. Uh, bioenergetic analysis it emerged as a one-to-one therapy to treat different personality stereotypes. And it did so by putting their bodies in certain corrective postures and getting the client to breathe and to express emotions in those postures sometimes, but certainly to breathe and to really feel their body. Sometimes the body would start to shake in these postures. The underlying theory that makes this uh, workable, makes it viable as a therapy, is that that there exist holding patterns. Traumatic events that you've been through in life, uh, times when you've been conditioned by society to be a certain way in order to fit in, to get love, to get your needs met, all of this repressed emotionality is held in the body as in holding patterns. And essentially these are areas of muscular tension or absolute dead zones in the muscle system where nothing, everything's kind of a bit limp. And uh, they maintain, maintain themselves, they maintain themselves that way. And holding patterns are the real reason why our personalities become increasingly rigid over time and our bodies become increasingly rigid over time. It's because of holding patterns, essentially. So bioenergetics essentially, well, I'm saying essentially not here, essentially what bioenergetics is doing is correcting the holding patterns. It's... The holding patterns develop because when we experience some level of conditioning or trauma or something, we tend to hold our breath. Something scary happens, we hold our breath, we lock up, we go tense, we hardly breathe. It's an animal reaction, it's mediated in the amygdala, an organ of the brain, a part of what used to be called the limbic system, uh, a little way in from here, on both sides, right in the middle, in the the limbic area of the brain. Uh, The fight and flight response, or the fight, flight and flee response, all sorts of different names given it to it these days. This is the neurological foundation, and you can look this stuff on, up online, just as you can Reiki and characterology. Bioenergetics, essentially, is that you put your body in guided positions and you breathe. The, the, the positions feel tense. They feel not good. It feels like, I don't really want to be in this position, certainly after a little while. And uh, they bring up feelings as well, and this is the intention. The idea is that you get in the position and you hold it as guided, and you breathe and you keep yourself on the edge of your comfort zone. This is crucial. If in life you're always comfortable, you can't really get development. You can't really get development if you're always, you can't really get change if you're always keeping yourself comfy. And if you're always stressed out and in pain and, and feeling not good, this is also not good for you. But the edge is very, very healthy. At least to spend some time each day on the edge is incredibly healthy for your body, for your mind, for everything. And so you create a controlled situation where you can do this in bioenergetics. 
you know, maybe a position is like a kind of ground reach or called the arch where you lean forwards and you're guided into this position. I've also got videos online showing it to you, uh, the bow and the arch video. And uh, you stay in this position and you breathe. And at some point it starts to feel uncomfortable quite early on, maybe after even 10, 20 seconds, it starts to feel uncomfortable. But you maintain it for a certain length of time as guided and you carry on breathing and feeling. And at some point something starts to move. Maybe you feel a sensation of heat from the muscles. Maybe you feel like a, a wave of cool or warm energy moving up your body. Maybe your body starts to shake. It starts to release tension from the body directly. There's a whole variety of positions. They come from all over, not just from the work of Alexander Lowen. Uh, there's a man called Prem Milan in, uh, in uh, the south of Brazil who's developed it a lot. There are guys in the States who've developed it a lot. Uh, there's a reputation that many Native American tribes uh, and also the Inuits in, uh, I think, Alaska have used these techniques as well or developed certain techniques to keep them warm. So uh, it's a little bit shrouded in mystery. It's a little bit shrouded in mystery. Something to understand about bioenergetics, as with a lot of body-based therapy, is it's quite confrontational. It may not be for everybody. When you start to open the body by moving holding patterns, a lot of feelings come. And not everyone is ready for this. We often say at a mind level, oh yes, we want change, we want positive change, we want to feel better. But when the feelings start to really come, it can be quite scary. It can be a bit much for you. You may need help or it may just be a bit unsuitable for you. But what's great about bioenergetics and it's that it's available, it creates rapid change. You're not talking about going to some psychiatrist for 10 years and talking about your relationship with your parents or the kids that bullied you at school. You're talking about a few sessions over maybe a relatively short period of time or you know a few few sessions and then some groups, uh, maybe drop-in sessions every now and again when you feel a bit stuck and stiff. When you've learned about it yourself and you know about your own emotionality on an experiential level, you can practice it yourself. So it has immense potential if you're happy to take a bit of risk and confront yourself on an emotional level and that feels okay for you. Okay, I think that's enough uh, about bioenergetics. Hopefully that's given you, this has given you a good introduction. On my website at Devraj Org UK, there's also a written introduction to bioenergetics. And uh, thank you for listening. Bye for now.